Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today I'm going to show you how you can easily root your OnePlus X. Okay, so before you begin, this could void your warranty. Uh, obviously, not responsible if you do weird things. Um, but you actually could get your warranty back if you unroot the phone, so just keep that in mind. Also, this will erase all the data on your phone, so please make sure that you back up anything that you feel is important. We're also going to flash a custom recovery onto your device during this, um, which is kind of cool and a good thing to have. It does allow you to flash custom ROMs um, and do a few other things as well, which we'll get into later. The instructions I'm doing here are for Windows, but if you're familiar with Mac and Terminal, uh, you can basically just use Terminal instead of Command Prompt, uh, and you need a dot slash in front of the commands. Again, if you're familiar with it, you can do it on a Mac. Uh, also, make sure that you only do this on the OnePlus X, not the OnePlus One or the OnePlus Two, as it will not work. Okay, first we're gonna download the drivers for ADV for the OnePlus by clicking this link here underneath the video and saving that to your desktop. Once it's downloaded, we're gonna right click it, hit run as administrator, hit okay, hit install, and let it install the drivers. Then we're gonna click on this link underneath that uh, to be taken to my how to set up ADB fast boot tutorial. It's very short uh, and it's a video in case you need it, but you can click that link, uh, follow the step for Windows or Mac, depending on whatever you're using. Uh, and essentially it's gonna make you download an installer as well. Uh, and then once you have that set up, we can then download the OnePlus X rooting files by clicking on this link. Uh, I put them all together in a zip format for you on my Google Drive. So save that to your desktop. Once that's downloaded, we're gonna right click it and extract files, hit okay. And then you now have a folder with a few files in it. So we're gonna select these two files and we're going to right click and copy them. And we're gonna go to this PC, C, and you should have an ADB uh, folder in here now after you uh, did the installer. So we're going to right click in there and hit paste. So now the recovery.img and the super user uh, super su zip will both be in the same folder as ADB and fastboot. Okay, then on the phone, we're going to pull down the notification center, go to the gear at the top to get to settings, scroll all the way down to about phone, scroll down to build number and keep tapping it until it tells you you are a developer. Then we can go back and you'll see a new developer options down here at the bottom. We're gonna tap that. We're gonna turn OEM unlocking on. Put in your pin code if you have one. Hit enable. And then you can scroll down and turn on USB debugging. Hit okay. And then we can plug the phone in via the USB cable to the computer. When you do, this should pop up asking you to allow USB debugging. Hit always alive from this computer and hit okay. If that doesn't come up, try unplugging the phone and plugging it back in, maybe even tapping on the USB uh, debugging uh, until it does pop up, because we need that uh, in order to do the next step. Okay, then back on the computer once the drivers are all installed and it is ready to go. We are going to go back to our ADV folder. We're gonna hold down Shift on the keyboard and right click in there, and then hit Open Command Window here. Then we're gonna type ADV Devices, and hit enter just to make sure we can see our device. It should have a serial number and the word device. And then we're gonna type ADB reboot bootloader and the device should reboot into fast boot mode. And then we're gonna type fast boot OEM unlock and hit enter. After we do that, we will get a warning on the phone letting you know that this will erase the user data. Uh, so you can use the volume buttons to select yes or no and then power to actually select the option. So we want yes and wait for it to wipe. Okay, eventually it will restart and you'll have to go through the normal setup process. Do that. Once you get back to the home screen, we're gonna pull down the notification center again, tap that, go to the gear, scroll all the way down to about phone again. We're basically gonna re-enable USB debugging. So keep tapping on build. So it tells you you're a developer. Hit back, developer options. OEM locking is now gonna be stuck on because we're OEM unlocked. USB debugging, we're gonna turn it back on, click okay. I'm going to unplug the phone at this point and plug it back in so we can get it to ask for the RSA key again. And if it doesn't automatically come up, first give it a second. And then if it doesn't, tap the USB debugging and eventually it will ask for the RSA key. You're gonna say always allow again and click okay. Okay, then back in the command prompt on the computer, we're gonna type adb push super su dot zip space slash SD card slash super su dot zip. 
basically that's taking the super su.zip file and pushing it to the internal storage of the phone. Uh, even though it does say SD card, ignore that. Um, it's actually not an SD card. It's just what the storage is called. ADB reboot bootloader. And once it reboots into fast boot mode, we're gonna then type fast boot flash recovery recovery.img and hit enter. Then we're gonna type fast boot boot recovery.img. And you should see this screen uh, pop up on your phone. This is your custom recovery. So we're gonna swipe to unlock swipe to allow. And then first we're gonna do a backup uh, of our system not rooted just cause that's a good thing to have. So tap backup, swipe to backup and wait for that. Once that's done, we're not gonna hit reboot system. We're gonna hit back, back again. And now we are going to tap install, scroll down and you should see super su.zip here at the bottom. Tap that and then swipe to confirm. Once that's done, we're gonna hit reboot system and wait for it to reboot. Once uh, you get all the way back to the normal home screen of the device, you're gonna log into the Play Store and download uh, the Root Checker app, just so that we can make sure that root is installed properly. So once you have it, you're gonna open it, tap verify root. Super user request should pop up, hit grant. And there you go, you have root access. Now, if you ever wanna get back to recovery mode now that you have root and you've flashed the recovery image uh, simply turn off the phone hold down volume down and power at the same time keep holding them and you'll be taken to the team win custom recovery okay so now that you're rooted and have a custom recovery image uh, the next logical thing to do is to flash some custom roms which are a lot of fun so click the link below to be taking to my tutorial on how to flash cyanogen mod uh, which is the custom os that used to be on the oneplus one oh so long ago um, it's actually a pretty cool operating system other than that there are other roms that you can flash as well for my rom repository on my site there guys, hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel or follow me at the Unlocker at D Kogan on any number of social networks. And as always, thanks for watching.